you found Mind Your Health, staying well with RJ Kishan. Today, the journey we're taking on our episode is going to be slightly different, but it's definitely going to take us down a path where we can stay healthy and can stay well. You watch and you'll know soon. Um, so I think I was heading to college or something like that and um, I had uh, taken a cab to college because I was running late. And I was packing my bag and you know basically putting my bottle in and uh, mama comes in and she's just like Gauri where are you going? So I think 10 minutes before I told him that uh, listen uh, next signal say right lane. And I looked at her and I was just like I told you that you know last night I told you that I'm going to college and I have whatever work and I need to finish that off and I need to go today. Recently I had a not an incident but a conversation with a colleague which which was definitely more heated than any that I've had recently. I wasn't feeling well one morning this colleague of mine called me 10 minutes later and uh, you know, she, she immediately just started getting into asking me some questions. Uh, I had taken a long break between shoots and when I went back on set, I remember I was nervous. It wasn't really the set, but I was nervous and you know, my nervousness then was projected on everybody else and then... It really sort of went from zero to a hundred in a couple of seconds and I kind of <laughs> spelled it out for I think pretty clearly. Uh, to get my bearing back and my comfort level back, I started like being a little more aggressive than I'm usually. I'm usually a very calm person on set, but that day I was a little more aggressive. I remember I actually ended up shouting at my friend and uh, she kind of shouted back at me later and she told me And she's like, so what if I ask you again? And I said, but mama, this is not the first time it's happened. You keep asking me the same thing over and over again and it gets annoying because you're never paying attention to me when I'm telling it to you for the first time. Five minutes before I ask him again, I tell him again that, bhai sab, Signal say right lena hai. please like right lijega, theek hai? Like why do you ask me even if you're not going to pay attention to what I'm telling you? I'm like, yeah say right, yeah say right, yeah say right, yeah say right. I do not want to have this conversation with you over and over again. And she was just like, you know what, fine I'm just going. And I was like, yeah just get out of my room and I don't want to see you the rest of the day. Come to the signal and you go straight ahead. I can't believe that we're just a couple of months away from this launch. You are such an integral part of this project and you're asking me questions, questions that even people who have joined the team like a week ago know. And I'm like, I'm talking about three times behind, I'm talking about the signal, I'm talking about the signal, I'm not listening to you, what are you doing? You obviously sometimes have to be firm when you are dealing with a certain kind of uh, situation, you have to put your foot down. Last time you went out of your way to be kind to someone. And this video definitely got you thinking, right? When was the last time you were kind? Well, I'm still thinking. But while we do that, we want to say thank you to Nirmala Mahendali and her entire team at Kindness Unlimited for sharing this beautiful video with us. This, this video has actually got me thinking, you thinking. And if it does that and gets more kindness out into the world, I think we've got a winner right there. Nirmala Mahendali is actually the founding trustee of Kindness Unlimited, but is also the president of World Kindness Movement. And across 28 countries, that is where they have their presence. They are pushing and nudging people to be even kinder, if that is possible. So Nirmala, thank you for joining us today in Mind Your Health, Staying Well with RJ Kishan. If people are wondering, how does kindness tie in with being healthy? Well, you're going to find out. So Nirmala, tell us, what is really kindness about? So 
a kindness is generosity and being helpful and being nice. We've grown up with these words. And our definition is whenever you balance self-interest with the common good. So you look after yourself and you look after someone else or others. That's being kind. And as we go along, you'll realize, Keisha, that a lot of us try to be kind without being kind to ourselves. And that's not sustainable. How can you be kind to yourself? So let's take a very simple example and something that we can all relate to, right? So I'm in the busy of a work day and there's a friend of mine who has some good news to give me. And then she just picks up the phone and calls me and I have a very important presentation and my mind just needs to be focused on it. So I have two options. One is to ignore the call or the other is just take it and tell her that I will call back at a particular time. Right. So if it's a dear friend, she'll understand. And the tone is very important. So let's say I say, hey, Radhika, it's awesome that you called and I'm just in the middle of something. Can I call you at 4.30? Right. Now, the challenge is, Kisha, is sometimes we say it and we don't call back. Now, we are looking at the whole kindness loop. Right? So keeping to a commitment is also being kind because Radhika is waiting to tell me and I've got to be nice to her, I've got to be nice to myself. And that's the magic of kind. What, what are the benefits that one really experiences? Why should we be kind? So uh, uh, to make it very simple is most of the time when we are kind to ourselves, first of all is uh, we kind of putting a boundary so people don't overstep and take advantage of us. The reason is important because we want our glass to be full and then we want to give joyfully. I can't give you water from an empty cup. What are the real benefits, Nirmala, of, of being kind? So one is you, when I say balance self-interest, you understand that you've got to look after yourself. Right? And a lot of people around us, and a lot of women, especially when I see around, they do so much for others. Right? But when you keep doing so much for others, you can get tired, and the other person can start taking advantage of you. And then you get irritable, and you're not able to express yourself before you get angry. So if I understand that I must be able to express my needs before I get angry, you're actually being kinder to yourself, your own blood pressure and your heart and everything is in order. And the other person and the relationship remains. I've heard of this um, chemical called oxytocin that, that one experiences, one of those wellness hormones that one experiences along with kindness. So can you tell us about that? Many, many scientists have spoken about the feel-good chemical. So like dopamine and serotonin and the other endorphins, oxytocin makes you feel good, makes you connect to the other. So every time I've been nice to someone and done something without having to break my back, I create a connection. And when I create a connection, there's a chemical that surges within me which is great because I feel, it's called the helper's eye. Some people who keep helping say, I, I'm feeling high. I'm feeling good because I did something for someone. I love that. Doing good makes one feel good. I, I know that you have these jars with you. So along with the, the tips on reaching forward and, and handing out references, one tip. Another one is being patient when when somebody is in a rush and you're in a rush as well allowing for knowing that that person needs to move forward quickly but i know that you have these jars and this is definitely another tip that i'm going to implement in my life can you share with us about that so this is something that i picked up uh, this idea so in 2017 on the first of jan i started two little jars and uh, for 10 years and 52 weeks, so I have 520 pebbles in one jar. 
and every weekend I transfer one pebble to the other jar. But while transferring, I've made a little ritual of my own. I start thinking of all the good things that have happened in the previous week. It's not that the not so good hasn't happened, but I'm training my mind to feel grateful. Right? So when you focus that way, you create a ritual. So what, what's written on one of the, the bottles that is the jar that is? So, the bottle is the present is now. That's the one you're filling up. Yeah, that's the one I'm filling up and saying, be present and give yourself that present of being present in the moment. And after 10 years, when this is over and I've survived and I'm okay, I'll count my blessings. So I have 520 rocks with I don't know how many thousands of blessings that I've put in because every time I put something in, I'm also thinking about the person in a positive way. So I say, hey, Keisha reached out to me and what a miracle, right? So without realizing, I'm sending you the good energy. And I don't even need to know about it, but I'm, I'm receiving it. This is really beautiful. So Nirmal, I'm going to ask you the question that you had in the video, which is, but when was the last time you were kind? Uh, so, you know, it's kind of a habit. So, Keisha, it's not that I don't slip up, but I'm very aware and I'm very mindful. So, let's say I said something in a tone that I realized my son didn't receive well. When he came and said, you know, can I have lunch early? And I said, I mean, you should let me know. Then can I make it up to him and say, hey, son, I don't think that tone was kind. Now, by being aware, it's also a great step. It's not that we don't make mistakes. We're human. We forgive ourselves. But we can also let the other person know that you're human and you acknowledge that. And so you have a better communication, a better relationship. And the other person may slowly start acknowledging when they slip up as well. What is one kindness phrase that you'd want to share with everybody who is watching us today? So I keep telling people spread kindness, it's contagious. Because what happens is the other person receives it, somebody observing it says, hey, these two help one another and they go out and are kind possibly to someone else. So the more that we exhibit it and show it, we definitely can have a better home, a better society, a better community, a better nation, and a better world. And a better world. Nirmala Mahendale, you joined us today. You spread your kindness. I'm feeling it. And, and I'm feeling good. And I'm hoping everybody who's watching today right now is going to answer this question. When was the last time that you were kind? And how did it really feel? Well, I'm hoping you're going to experience kindness. You're going to give kindness. And you're going to be able to watch kindness as well. Exactly like that video told us. Thank you very much for joining us today. And mind your health. Staying well with RJ Keisha. That's another way to stay kind, actually. By liking, subscribing, commenting, and, and sharing. Mind your health. Staying well with RJ Keisha. Each episode to make sure that you move further into a space of loving yourself, being kind to yourself and then of course being kind to your loved ones and spreading that kindness out into the world. We're looking forward to you sharing and commenting and me responding to your comments. You are helping me make a difference.